Hey guys! So today is going to be a finally blue liner tutorial. I know that um, it's been like forever since I was going to put one of these up, but then I dyed my hair red and then I tried to do blue liner with red hair and it was not the business. I wanted to wait again until I was dark and so now that I'm dark I finally did it. So it is the blue winged eye. A lot of you guys have been wanting to see this because this is a pretty tricky liquid liner to work with. I don't even, it's not even like a liquid, it's like a, like a, I don't know, do you know what it is? Because I don't know what it is. I'm just trying to get up and crawl by the camera. But anyways, so I show you guys my little trick on how I work this blue liner. So if you guys want to see how to get this blue liner, just keep watching the video. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my Milani Liquify in black and I'm just going to do like a regular, regular, I'm just going to do like my normal winged eye. So what I do when I do my winged eyeliner is I like to stabilize my arm, my elbow, most, uh, my elbow mainly. Because when I have my elbow steady, my arm is a lot more steady and it's not so shaky because I feel like I kind of have like shaky hands. So we're going to go right from the edge of our eye. Oh. Kind of like out towards your eyebrow, you want to draw your first little line. And then come back in. Like that. And then just kind of fill this in. Now this doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to fix it with our blue liner. Whenever I first do my liner, it's always janky looking, but I obviously end up fixing it. You can obviously do this with a liquid liner if you feel more comfortable. And then I'm just going to... Honestly, nobody wants to call me while I'm not filming. As soon as the camera turns on, bling, 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 bling. So then once I've laid down my base, again, I was using the Milani Liquify pencils. These are amazing. Moving on to our blue liner. This is also by Milani, and it is the Infinite. That's what it looks like. And the reason that I laid down the base is because mine is like thick. You see how it just hangs out right there? Mine's thick, so I can never ever just draw a regular line. I always have to draw a black first so that I have, like I said, some kind of guideline. So what I do is I'll just dip it in there and then kind of get all the excess off. And like, you know, scrape it across so that it's not goopy or anything. Here we go. So I'm just gonna go straight over the black that I've already drawn on there. And it this is such like an intense blue liner. It doesn't matter if the black's there or not. It's going to be as vibrant if it was by itself. So in the corner. And then our wing. And then the good thing about having like the black underneath, just in case you mess, like you can't get the blue on all the areas, the black will kind of like disguise that for you. I'm going to put on some mascara and be right back. So this is the finished look after mascara. I think this one might be a little longer than this one, but what can you do? Um, I don't think my wings are ever like super symmetrical, but I don't really care. It doesn't really bother me. I mean, if you're a super perfectionist, go ahead and even them out. But if it doesn't bother you, move along. No one's going to notice. I mean... Clearly some of you notice, but what can you do? I hope that this helped you guys out if you have this blue liner and it's like a really thick liner to use and you're like, I can't draw this on, I can't draw a wing on. Just draw on some kind of 
like guide using liquid liner, black liner, gel liner, whatever you want, just something underneath so that you can trace along and you know, it's thick so you can work in like little small sections and again by having that black underneath it kind of disguises any area that doesn't have blue liner on it. So until my neck, oh, that's not what I want to say. So until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.